Can I very quickly ask about the United Medical Center, the only hospital significantly on the far side of the river? Uh, the chief financial officer, and I think Council Member Jack Evans, who's the chairman of the Finance and Revenue Committee, has said it was a mistake for this city to take over the finances of the United Medical Center, even though it was in good intentions, and that the city is risking its bond ratings, and that if the city doesn't sell it within six months, we are going to pay a horrific price on Wall Street, plus we are not serving the people who need quality health care. What can you say and the council do so to avoid a D.C. general-like operation, Mr. Orange? Well, I'd say one thing is, is, is we have to exercise. Sell the hospital? Exercise leadership, sell the hospital, but we have to package it in, in, in the proper manner. In order for that hospital to be attractive to uh, someone that wants to purchase it, we have to probably provide also the land next to it so they can develop it and create a package that can be financially viable. Mr. Orange? Well, I mean, first of all, I mean, that sound, I don't know if he answered. I said I, Mr. Orange, excuse uh, Mr. Brown. Yeah, I, I don't know if he answered. Color blind. I don't know if he answered the question, but it's a good question. One, uh, the hospital does not have audited financials right now. And right. as you know, that it's going to be part of the CAFR that comes out. So clearly we'll have. The CAFR two, is the audit. It's the audit in 2010. And then the, uh, the Dr. Gandhi, who I've spoken to on several occasions, is now working with getting the audited financials in 2009. So one, you can sell the hospital. Two, the land around the hospital itself. Uh, the land was actually already given to a developer, and the only way to get it back was to actually for the city to buy it, and then we must sell it. Jack Evans is right. What he's saying is that, you know, we cannot hold on to the hospital. We must sell the hospital. In order to sell the hospital, you have to have audited financials, and that's what we're doing now. And Dr. Gandhi uh, says it's going to be about five months before we have that completed, and then we can go out and sell this hospital. But let me just want say one thing what I think is important, and that is that for the first time uh, east of the Anacostia River, you do have an MRI uh, that People can go and get an MRI. You do have a hospital up and running. And if, if in fact, we would have done nothing, that hospital would be gone today. Yeah, but if I can just uh, wait, wait, and we've, we've, we've put $100 million into United Medical Center. It has not worked. We've lost a tremendous amount of money. They've hit the reserve again. This government created a nonprofit where they bought the hospital. And so here we go down that slippery slope again. That's the reason why Dr. Gandhi. Mean? That's the reason why Dr. Gandhi is is alarmed today. That's the reason why Wall Street is looking at us like, what's going on down here? It's two things that we have told Wall Street that have shaken their credibility. We told them we would not spend below nine hundred twenty million dollars in our in our uh, reserve. We came back and we got us down. To Let me anticipate Mr. Brown's and question. Now to what would you have done? Center. I, I I would not have took ownership of the United Medical Center. You would have let it fail. I would. I would I would have uh, redid a, a temporary deal with the, the folks with specialty who was at the table. Uh, this really came down to politics. It came to some bruised feelings with, uh, with this inside the government. So you really have to have been there at that seat we was to, there. to make it work. It would have failed, yeah. Mr. Orange. And let me just say no, this, it, Wall Street, no, it, it would not I think have it's failed. important. It I've from, talked to, I've, from your point of view, it would have failed. Yeah. But from a different point of view, I don't, I don't not think it would Right. Would for fail. someone that wasn't there, then clearly you have your opinion. Let me just say that what's important, and I've talked to Dr. Gandhi about this. We had a conversation that said, look, the way the council has set up its uh, two funds is really giving Wall Street some uh, 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 give them some confidence. It's not all the confidence that is needed, but finally say we are going to replenish our reserves. We are going to play, pay down our debt. We are dealing with tough financial times like America is dealing with tough economic times. As chair of the, of the Metropolitan Council of Governments, Maryland and Virginia are facing the same thing. And as it comes to uh, Council Member Evans, who has articulated uh, that we need to sell this hospital, we are. And I think that we're doing all the necessary steps to make sure that we actually get the best return on the Got to go to Solomon.